All right, in this first video here, we're going to look at how to take the code from a website and use it to make our own web page. So we're going to start off on a website, and we'll just use the Springbrook website as the example here. And if you were to go into Tools, sorry, into View, and we want to come down to page source. So you could also hit control U if you're used to using shortcuts. And once we'll, what we'll see once you open up the page source is that we have access to all of the code that powers the website. You can just scroll through and see all of that. So once we have all of this code, we're going to select all of it using control A and then control C to copy. So now we have all of this code inside of our clipboard and we could go ahead and close it. Next we're going to open up an application that allows us to create HTML pages and really you could use anything for this. Basic notepad, wordpad um, are common applications to use but we have one installed called notepad plus plus which is free. You could download it at home if you're on a PC. We'll go ahead and open that up. And once that's open, we could control V to paste in everything that we saved. And notice now that inside of this text document, we have all of the code that we took from that website. So once this is done, we're going to save the file and how you name it is very important. So if I come into my DTS folder, right, web unit, we're going to save it as first name, hyphen last name, hyphen the name of the site that you took it from. Make sure that the file ends in .html. If it does not get saved as .html, it will not work. So after we save this here, then we're going to go back into our browser, back into Firefox, and open up a new tab. And once we have that new tab open, we're going to browse our computer and find that file that we just saved. So if we hit Control o to open, I can go into my web unit. And I could find this file that we have. And you're going to open up that file. And you'll notice that it doesn't look exactly correct because some of the links are going to be broken, especially the links that power the style, but notice that the actual content is still there. So the final step then is to find something in this code that we could change and edit to be our own. So maybe this note at the top would be a good one, and if I come back into my code, I'm just going to scroll down till I see something about a note. And here we go, note. We're still converting the entire site. And I'm just going to select that code there. Change something. Come back, refresh the page. And notice that now this code has been changed. So now we have our main content there. We have code that we copied and pasted, and we have the actual um, code changed to reflect something that we've done. Now, if you wanted the site to look styled exactly the same, um, you'd have to make a few more changes, but I could point out where those are, and they should be similar on your page. Anywhere where you see something that says link, that's linking to the style sheet, and that gives it its style. And notice that this link says something, schools, Springbrook, HSS, 
etc. And all you would need to do to fix that is to put the link of the actual site at the beginning. So the URL for the site. would be Montgomery County Schools MD.org. So if I copy this and paste that into the beginning of mine, now yours may be different depending on what site you're using, but if you're following along with the Springbrook site, this will work. And once we do that, we should have the correct link to our style sheets. And if we come back in, and look at the example that we made. When I refresh this page, there we go. Now we have our nice styles applied and it still says at the top, note the site has been hacked. It says loading content and that's for another reason which we're not really going to get into but all of the rest is there. So there you have it. You've taken a website, you've copied the code, you've saved it locally and um, you've made a change to it, and that is what we need for day one. So good job.